Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sayers, back at the Music Factory. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of grub and an old distribution on your machine if you're doing dual boot. And you may want to like distro hop or change distributions. So this is a good reason to keep a version of Ubuntu, the regular GNOME version, on a USB stick. So what I'm doing here is I've stuck the USB stick in of Ubuntu and I'm going to open the Discs app. D-I-S-K. Just basically hit the super key, type in disks, and click on disks. And look for the file system partition here. Windows usually makes it, if you install Windows first, 105 meg on a 256 gigabyte SSD. Push the play button. This mounts that partition. Click on it inside of Nautilus. After you've opened Nautilus, click on the EFI folder. Delete boot, the boot menu, and Usually it'll either say Ubuntu or Manjaro or Arch or whatever distribution you're using in a dual boot system. Put them in a, in the trash and then empty the trash because if you don't empty the trash, they won't go anywhere. So this is what happens when you've had a couple distributions on your machine and you've overwritten them and overwritten them. This is the boot partition of your machine. And what happens is it'll tell you like when you install a new distribution, like can't install the distribution, even though you know you've cleaned it out. So after you've done that, you double check it, make sure in disks, then open Gparted and delete the partition that Linux was on. So what I did here is I went to install Lubuntu, the LXQT version of Ubuntu. And when I tried to install the NVIDIA drivers, it just wouldn't boot again. So I thought, eh, I'll clean it all out and try again. So that's basically what I did. But if you're kind of bouncing around distros a lot, like I do on this machine for this channel, this is a good habit to get into if, of cleaning out your EFI partition. That way, the only things that are in there are things you need. That way, there's not old grub partitions and folders from distributions that are no longer on your machine. So just if you need to do that, refer back to this video. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it help you out. If it did, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see y'all next time. Have a great day, y'all.